I'm going to talk about the question or topic that actually has been haunting the wine industry for quite a while. Um, I'm going to talk about that age-old question of cork or screw cap. It's one of those things um, that has been debated over and over and time and time again. Uh, so let's uh, get right into it. The first thing I'd like to talk about would be the cork, uh, the pros and the cons of cork. Cork, well, the pros is that it's natural and it's uh, it's bark from a tree, actually, and it creates a really nice seal for the wine. It's going to provide a nice airtight um, closure for the wine to protect the wine and stuff. However, the con is also because it's um, natural, there's some um, slight flaws in it if the cork is not uh, cleaned properly or if it's not um, cut to exact measurements. It can, in time, allow oxygen into the bottle of wine uh, where you know the oxygen is actually, while storage, is the enemy of wine wine killer as they call it. Also with cork, um, over time if it's laid over its side and the, and the bottle, the wine moistens, moistens the, um, the cork, it can tend to either mold or get soft and start to decay. And when that happens obviously it's going to allow oxygen again, the wine killer, to enter the bottle and start um, deteriorating the wine. So, uh, back to the positive side, the, the pros is that the cork is really cool to watch people open. When you use that wine key, it's romantic, it gives it a certain amount of fanfare without being uh, too obnoxious. It allows you to to create a nice memory of opening a bottle of wine, and especially that wonderful pop sound when you pull the cork completely out of the bottle. Uh, that just that's just a signature for good times ahead. <laughs> um, and also back to the another con. On the other hand, is Let's say you keep a bottle stored upright, uh, where there's still that gap uh, inside, that space inside the bottle between the wine and the cork itself. Um, there's not necessarily oxygen, it's probably inert gas in there, or just a gap without oxygen. Uh, however, that can take its toll on the cork as well, dry it out, and once it dries out the cork, then the uh, then the obvious thing again is there might be small openings within the cork itself to allow oxygen to get in. And when it seeps in, again, it's going to damage the wine. For me, um, wine doesn't last long enough actually to, to be able to have that kind of damage. However, you don't know how long um, a bottle of wine has you know, made it through its journey from producer to your hands. You don't know how it was stored, so a lot of big question marks. However, um, it's uh, it's still, I think, um, the closure of choice for a lot of wine producers, uh, only because it's simple, it's natural, um, and uh, it's, it's just romantic. So now on the flip side, on the other hand, we talk about the screw caps. With the screw cap, the pro is that it creates, it's synthetic for one, it's, it, so it creates a 100% airtight seal from the producer off the production line. 
and that will prevent the oxygen from getting in and killing the wine. Oh, uh, back on the cork side for a quick minute. Um, there's something, there's a terminology that we, that's uh, used in the wine industry. It's called corked. When we refer to a wine that is corked, that is actually referring to a taint, um, where the cork hasn't been either cleaned properly or, uh, or the wine has been in contact with this cork that hasn't been cleaned properly. It gives off um, a faulty odor. And this odor is, uh, it's about the same as a wet dog hair smell um, or wet cardboard smell. That's not, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing per se, but yes, um, it, it does present an issue with wine uh, and its drinkability. Um, so anyway, back to the screw cap. The screw cap, because it's synthetic, it, you will never have a corked wine. Um, and the ease of the screw cap uh, is that you'll never need to have to look for a wine key um, to, or a cork screw, um, aka, uh, to go and open a bottle of wine and start enjoying it. Um, the con with the screw caps is that there is always a sense of, um, of uh, how, do I, how do I put this, um, less fanfare, there's, uh, it's not uh, considered luxurious, so uh, some people say it's just not interesting to go and open up a screw cap bottle of wine because all you do is twist the top off and it's like no no fun after that <laughs> except you just dive into the wine um, the other con is that once you open the screw cap from its original sealing after you receive the wine from the from the wineries um, if you want to screw it back on that bottle will always have to be kept upright. You cannot lay it flat again. Once you lay it flat, it will start to leak, and then you'll have a nice little puddle of wine inside your refrigerator. Uh, not fun, especially during the cleanup. <laughs> so anyway, to answer the question, which, which is better? Um, that's hard to say because they each have uh, their pros and their cons. Um, and I guess the true answer would be it's based on your personal preference. For me, actually, I prefer the natural cork because it's just, uh, it's just better memories for me. Whenever I open that bottle with a, a corkscrew, it's just, it's just a nice feeling that just pulsates through your whole body that, that, that there's going to be a lot of fun times ahead and a lot of great memories to be had. So, uh, with that, um, I leave you with, uh, with your own choice, actually. Again, it comes down to personal preference, screw cap or corkscrew. Uh, leave comments down below. Uh, tell me your preference. What do you think? Uh, what do you like? Do you, like, do you prefer screw cap or corkscrew? All right, uh, so that's it for today, and I'll see you next time.